Hello, welcome. How are you, my ten standard students? We are continuing with English today with a super poem by Walt Whitman. Poem number six on your textbook page number eighty-three. So anyhow, a little bit of uh, somewhat good news that you are in school now after few days. It will be a great pleasure first that you all be with us. So let's begin and start. The poem is animals. It is uh, said by that we human beings also are animals. Aren't we? Yeah, we can say are we? Yes, definitely we are also one kind of animal. For God, for animal, the most cruel animal in the world, we can say human beings. Apart, we got uh, pets on our, uh, at our homes. Many of you might be having pet dogs, cats. Recently, you can see on this uh, social media. A person playing with lion and leopard and different animals, and so they what they need they need just love because as you might have seen the Jungle Book, the movie Mowgli, a character he is totally with animals, being with animals, and obviously in cartoons still. Yet today, so I too like cartoons and these things. Animals are the the first ever most prosperous Disney cartoon, Mickey Mouse, Donald, uh, many many cartoon films are there. They are on uh, these animals. Apart from them, many such films are there from Bollywood too. Hollywood especially we have seen. But Bollywood too, that animals are there. They, we, uh, what they do for human beings, and somewhat we like them, somewhat we hate them. But we obviously we used to tease them, harass them, to beat a dog, to make it cry, the puppy, and these all things. We are doing many many things, rude things towards animals. Why? Because they are speechless, is it so? One fact might be that also that they are speechless. But they are, they are having lots and lots of sentiments regarding them. So let's begin our poem, animals. The poet tells us that he feels more at home with animals than humans, whom he find complicated and false. Superbly, so the first line here over written in introduction that he feels white. Sorry, Walt Whitman feels himself. I am good with animals than the human being because human beings are liar, greedy. We can see yes in every fact. Of life, we are greedy. We are feeling lots and lots of pride within us because of the nature that we are developed here. And you can see animals, birds. They are free. They are with nature. God has given them a particular place. They are satisfied with themselves. But we human beings are not satisfied. We are lusty people, having lust of more and more things. So let's go to. I cannot say help, but let's continue with our poem. Yeah, the first line says this: "I think I could turn and live with animals." He used to say, "I think I could turn and live with animals. They are so placed." Means sorry. They are so placid and self-contained. Placid here resembles for calm because any for animals are calm and contained 
and self contain here it is word self contain what they contain materialistic here the means is they are materialistic but self materialistic and what we are we are not self materialistic so he would like to say yeah he is to say that i would like to be with animal as they are calm i stand and look at i stand and look at them long and long he used to say that whenever i used to be with animals i stand still and look at them long and long what they are doing you can go you can see nearby your houses also in streets in your society in your apartment in zoo etc if you are going on the road you can see the animals not only domestic animals every animals that you see they are having their own we can say own way of life they are too much cautious about themselves they live with the nature and why let's go they do not sweat and whine whine is what about their condition do they sweat have you seen animal sweating running here and there for food and this and that no for uh, from activa to bike and bike to car car to ferrari or many many things one small hut hut to house house to apartment and lots of bungalows and this. do they sweat more and more no they are satisfied with themselves and whine about their condition whine means worry they are not worrying about their condition in this cold season you might have seen the dogs they are laying out down near the corner sleeping they are taking they are just with their condition do we are just with their condition no we want lot and lot of things this thing that thing to and fro many many things we need it they do not lie awake in the dark and weep for their sins superb line by vitamin here they do not lie awake in the dark and weep for their sins again i would like to repeat they do not lie awake in the dark and weep for their sin they are not lie like human beings in every step we are becoming liar we lie every day yes every step you might have seen how if you will uh, from the beginning of when you wake up early in the morning to late night when you go to bed just count once how many times you have spoken the truth and how many times you have spoken the lie and what we used to do we used to cry for our sin if we are mystical we suffer when we suffer we used to cry in darkness so here he wants to say that they do not lie awake in the dark and weep for their skin they are not like human beings they do not do this thing they do not make me sick discussing that duty to god they do not make me sick discussing that duty to god do they pray a god yes i want this i want that what is our duty towards god to be a truthful person honest person kind person liberal person but we are not liberal we are not kind what god has suggested we are not going to that we are moving towards the different way so they do not make me sick discussing their duty to god not one is dissatisfied 
not born is demented with ya yeah, disturbed with the mania of owing things the madness of owing things as i told earlier that what we human beings do we pray yes tomorrow my examination oh god let me my have see in the moons to in three years as so i would like to watch this movie more and more more and more i uh, watch this movie i'm getting lots and lots of things towards this thing towards life oh god give me a deep percentage i will give you 1 kg peda yeah this coconut and this all thing oh bless me with this bless me with Maybe lots and lots and crores and crores, millions and billions and trillions of money. Desires, our desires are unlimited, and we cannot handle over this desire. Why? Wow. What you will take me? What will be with you? Nothing. The same desires that are from your heart, not heart, your mind. you think so your mind think so that i want this thing i want that thing do animals do this thing no they never desire they didn't have any lush but we are having the lush so probably here it is not more is dissatisfied they are not this not a single animal is dissatisfied not one is demented with ya yeah, disturbed with the mania of owing things the madness of owing thing have you ever seen any animal no i want five ten six eleven rupees i want burger i want pizza double cheese pizza i want this thing have you seen any animal doing so? no they didn't have any desire or yeah, madness of any desire they are satisfied each and every whatever they get half and roti they are satisfied they sleep silent and what we used to do if we have not taken a good amount of dinner your lunch your breakfast what will you what happens nothing we are fond of this desires we are running back towards this desires but they didn't have any type desires with them not one is respectable or unhappy over the whole world sorry i have skipped it not one kneels to another not to his kind that Lived thousands of years ago. Not one meals to another. Not to his kind that lived thousands of years ago. What we used to do? We used to need towards people for our desires. Animals they don't do so. Do they need in front of anybody? No doubt the person might be living of thousands years of old. No, they don't need. They don't back towards anybody. They are speechless, but they are kind-hearted. They are calm. They are adorable. We can say they also have lots and lots of sentiments regarding them, but they never need. you are never misuse you are never do any wrong things towards anybody you are never bad to the person though he might be living for thousands of thousands years if somebody will say this i do this statue is of any body of about 1000 years 2000 years ago we will start praying oh please give me this oh please give me that the desires and numberable you can say in maths it comes n times i have 
I didn't have lots of knowledge of maths, but n times something. And our desires are like this, n times. No numbers are there within this thing. So, not one is respectable or unhappy over the whole world. Not one is respectable or unhappy over the whole world. No one is respect. Do one dog respect another? Do one cow respect another? One animal respect another? No need because they are living in their own world and unhappy over the whole world. No animal is unhappy except the human being. Only and only the human being is unhappy with the world. Why no animal is unhappy with the world? No doubt, lots and lots of animals are exist from the world. Though they never complain towards the earth. So they show their relations to me and I accept them. So because they are not greedy, they are not proud, they didn't have any desire, they didn't have any hunger, they are lust of anything. So I like them. So they show their relations to me and I accept them. And you can see that animals obviously they show their relations by, by being happy, by lucking us, lucking we can say, by whipping us, we can make lots of, they show their love towards, I mean, towards human beings. And so the poet says, I like them, yeah, I accept them, they bring me tokens. of myself your token suggests for qualities they bring me tokens for themselves they arrange arrange your yeah reveal it shows it shows it means they bring me relations of myself their events means they show yeah they reveal them play, plainly in their positions in their belongings. What they did? They bring the poem to a particular relations. They make the poem to relate them. To have some particular type of relations. They arrange, means they show, they reveal them plainly in their positions, in their belongings. The poet by seeing, by watching them, he is too much, what we can say, acceptable of this thing. Because, you know, animals have no desires, nothing, no lust, no greediness. And this type of particular type of behavior shows, yeah, reveals the poem to attract to them. Yeah, to make and to make him that he is in the world too. Here, they are plainly in their position. Pollution means belongings. I wonder where they get those sukun. I wonder, he says, from where? Where they get these sukuns of being? Yeah, of these qualities, token here suggests for quality. From where they get these tokens, quality, did I pass that way huge times ago and negligently drop them? He says, whether I, I also was an animal that I have passed lots of time with them and I might have neglected them. And then I became a human. So he here suggests that I also want to be an animal, like animal, yeah, like animals too. In the last line he says that, did I pass that way huge times ago and negligently 
drop them whether i have mistaken he thought that i have mistaken that i might have dropped these animals as i am too much attracted to them i want to be with them i am with them i like them and he himself he he accept that that he would like to be with the animals so here superbly he has derived the poet has derived that he wants to be with them because he says that he might have dropped this precious time the precious things with them by negligently by mistake so he is attracted towards the animals he want to be with them because they didn't have any type of complaint they didn't have any type of mistakes they didn't have any type of demand nothing they are being to god what god has given them the animals are being with them they are satisfied not like the human beings the lusty the greedy we can say the proud human beings are there those who are running towards the materialistic things around the world but in oppose ya in the way the animals live they behave they have the lush many many things are there good totally good qualities are there in the animals and so he says that i might have for the earlier lost them by mistake but i would like to be with them i would like to be with the animals evolved with white man here something it has been described for him that walt whitman he was born in 1819 and 1892 uh, he was no more is a major figure in an early american poetry in an age when all poetry was ranked and matricul whitman made a break with traditions and wrote a revolutionary new kind of poetry in free verse he was a non conformist in all respect including his social life means a life he led was totally towards the society towards the nature like a skin born so you are thinking about the poem not is a use of a turn in the first line i think i could turn and leave with animals what is the poet turning form the turning form is that that he want to be like animals not like the cruel human beings mention three thing that humans do and animals don't i have already explained it do humans kneel to other humans who lived thousand of years ago discuss this in group yes as i told that yes human beings obviously they kneel towards other people those who have lived lots of thousands of years before yes obviously we are praying the idols the statues the these and that we don't have we have not seen that so it has been described about the token too what is a token chance and that i have told you the believing the rebel the shows the qualities what qualities a human being is having yeah sorry human beings are having and what qualities that animals are having so a superb poem ended by Walt Whitman I think so you might have understood this thing if you have any doubt you can contact Chetan sir yeah me too thank you thank you very much